Hello, hello everyone. How are you? It's Melissa Jollymore coming live to your Facebook feed. <laughs> so if you don't want to learn about financial education and hear the truth about money, scroll by. But if you want to make your money work for you, if you want to have a better relationship with money, be a master of it, not a slave, this is the life for you. So if you're popping on, say hello. If you are watching the replay, say hello also. Tell me you have popped on. Tell me where you're coming from. Where are you watching from? I am watching from British Columbia. I'm not watching. I'm doing the live uh, from British Columbia, Canada, where it is snowing today. Um, I'm ready to go down south, that's for sure. Hello, Diana. How are you? How are you, lady? Hello, Randy. Nice to see you on. So please tell me you're here. Say hello. I'd love to say hi back. Hello, Monique from Wisconsin. Nice. It's probably, and Tanya, Tanya's watching. Hello, hello. Okay, so there are four ways that people make an income where they generate income from. All right, and so I'm gonna talk about the three ways. Um, the first way is employee, we're the majority of us, okay? Hello, Monique. The majority work for money, right? So the employee says, how much are you gonna pay me when I work an hour, okay? That's where you're having someone else tell you how much you're worth an hour and you trade time for money, okay? The employee says, how much are you gonna pay me if I work for you for an hour? Now, the small business owner says, how much am I gonna make an hour if I put you to work? Okay, so it's a little bit of thinking on how to make money, leveraging somebody else to do the work and, get, and making an income off that. That's expanding your financial education, that's expanding your earning power. Now, there's some limitations in those both, okay? And then the big business owner says, how much am I gonna make when I put a system to work harder than I do? So people make money, so people go to work, right? They work for somebody else, people own a business, they, they work for their small business, people work for money, but systems create wealth, all right? So we wanna create a system, but how do you do that? How does the average person do that? So I wanna talk about pyramids, okay? So a lot of times when I talk about what I do for a living, I'm a professional network marketer, that's one of the ways I generate income, um, they say, oh, it's one of those pyramid things, right? Who um, is in a pyramid? If you work for somebody, if you go shopping, if you are in network marketing, you work in a pyramid or you purchase from a pyramid or you um, support pyramids. Pyramids are business models. Hello, Axel. Nice to see ya. Um, pyramids are business models, right? They're not bad. They're just a business structure. And what is the strongest things that have stood the test of time that are strong structures? Pyramids, right? Pyramids, right? So let's look at some of the different pyramids that are out there and let's compare. Let's see which pyramid is better, okay? Let's learn how to be a master in making money than a slave to it. And so there are, this is the popular opinion. Right? This is what everybody, or not everybody, but the majority of people go to school, they get trained to be in the working class. It's just the truth. We get trained to go to work, right? Go learn a skill, learn a trade, and hopefully you can get a really good job with a benefits plan and a pension plan. This pyramid, I'm not saying it's bad. Okay, it pays the bills. It pays a lot of people's bills. It paid my bills because I worked for somebody for 20 plus years until about three years ago, four years ago, when I decided to take ownership of my financial, uh, my finances, take ownership of my future. And so it paid the bills, right? It did what it needed to do. But there was very high limitations on how much money I could make. You can never get wealthy in the corporate pyramid, right? So this is the corporate pyramid. Now, at the bottom is the employees, where the majority of people work. Then as you move up, there's lower management, middle management, upper management. Who's at the top? The owner, the CEO, right? Who makes the most money in this pyramid? Do you make the most money down here? No, you don't, right? Everybody above you makes 
the most. And how do you make more than the person above you? You just can't, right? And to move up the corporate ladder in this pyramid, you have to take somebody's job. Somebody else determines if you are qualified to move up the corporate ladder. Somebody else is determining your future, how much you make, okay? That's called the boss. That's making earned income, right? You only make money when you work. When you go to work, aw, thanks, Dita. You're so sweet. Um, anytime, when you go to work, you make earned income. When you come home, you stop making income, right? You're trading time for money. But that's the popular opinion, right? That's what the majority of us do. Now, it's security, because you get a paycheck every two weeks. You know how much you're getting paid. And so you're trading freedom for security, right? You're trading freedom for security. Over here is the network marketing pyramid, right? A lot of people call that a pyramid. It is a pyramid. It's just a different way to make money pyramid other than the corporate pyramid, all right? And when people say this is security, right, where somebody else determines how much you make an hour, somebody else determines if you move up the corporate ladder, you have to ask permission from a boss if you could take a vacation, if you could take a day off, right? If I, you know, um, if I my child was sick and I had to go pick him up, her up from school, I had to ask permission from my boss if I could go do that. Right? It's almost like adult daycare. Somebody else is in control of your time and your money potential. There's a limited capped income over here. Plus, you're taxed at the highest. Okay? So, that is a very limited limitation way of making an income. Now, let's go over to the network marketing. Okay? Where we want to learn how to make passive income. Now, we talked about how the employee and the small business owner makes money. And we talked about how they're trading security for freedom because they're putting a lot of time into making an earned income. And since the economy has, you know, been a crazy roller coaster right now, a hundred, over a hundred thousand small businesses have been, have closed down and many more to come if they could survive what's going on right now. And so that's a false sense of security. It's actually a false sense of security. If we are putting our hands, our future, our income in the hands of other people like the government that can shut you down, like your boss who can fire you, right? If you, if you do something they don't like, they can let you go. So you have a false sense of security in this pyramid, okay? So it's time to take, 2022 is time to take ownership of your future. Time to take ownership of your, how much money you make. Have an unlimited income potential. Stretch your earning capacity. But because we're not taught financial education, people will dismiss the network marketing pyramid because they don't understand it. But it's a way for the earned income quadrant to move over to the passive income. It gives everybody an equal opportunity to make as much money, can make a seven million, seven million, you can make seven million, yes. <laughs> a million a year, a million a month, a million a week. It is an unlimited, people are making a million dollars a week in this industry. There is a high potential and you can make passive income. Now this is how this works, okay, in the network marketing. Now you're going to invest in your business, okay? You're going to invest in yourself and you're going to start a virtual distribution business. Okay, you're going to align with a network marketing company and you're gonna distribute their product. That's how this works. Just like Amazon. Amazon doesn't sell their own products. Amazon leverages other people to sell their products. Okay, they expand. They want multiple locations, just like McDonald's. McDonald's only makes money when they sell their hamburgers. When they stop selling, they don't make any money. So what do they have to do? They have to expand their location so they reach more people. Now that's what we're going to do. We're going to leverage a network marketing company. We're gonna use their products to get to the market, okay? Now, you wanna build multiple locations so that you can expand. Now, you're building your pyramid, okay? You're building your multiple locations so you, you can duplicate. Two become four, four become eight, eight become 16. Now, as this grows, look at it, it's looking like a pyramid, isn't it? The benefits from this pyramid is look at all these locations. So it's not you trading time for money anymore. It's actually building a distribution machine where product is being brought to the market by multiple locations, not just you. That sounds good, right? So now say you have, you know, 500 people expanded in your distribution business. 
500 locations, you have 500 locations bringing product to the market. And let's just say you work one hour a day and everybody else works one hour a day. That's 500 hours clocking in your distribution business and you're, getting, you're working one, getting paid for 500. The earned income quadrant, you, you are run by a 24 hour clock here. You cannot make more money in, than 24 hours in the earned income because you only make money when you work. You trade time for money. That's being a slave to money, right? Then when you spend it, what happens? You gotta go back and make more. This is just earning cash. Now, it's only 24 hours and you can't work 24 hours, right? People think, oh, how am I gonna make more money? Get a second job. No, don't get a second job. Create a system. People make money, systems create wealth. This is what we're doing. We're building a system that works harder than you do. A distribution machine that brings product to the market with, uh, without, with, with using, leveraging um, multiple locations, leveraging other virtual franchises. Now, this is the benefit of this pyramid. Now, you know how here you're taxed at the highest, right? You, you don't even get to see all of the money you earned. It already gets taken off before you get your check. Over here, you're gonna get paid first. Then you're gonna have expenses, all right? You're gonna have some expenses that come with this business. And you're gonna also be able to take it off some of your earned income that you're making right now so now you've got some tax benefits, you've got some tax breaks, okay? So now you're gonna get more money back in your pocket at tax time. There's no employees, right? This isn't an adult daycare. You don't have employees in your distribution business. You have CEOs of their own franchise. So you're building entrepreneurs. You're building leaders backed by leaders, creating multiple locations. And everybody has an equal opportunity to make as much money as they want, seven figures a year a month, a week. That's how great this is, okay? Not only is, and then there's exponential growth, right? It goes like this, okay? It just grows. We're in 12 plus countries. You can have a distribution business all over the world with unlimited income potential, tax at the, la the lowest, no employees, no trucks, no tools, very little inventory for maybe a startup of max $1,500 to make an unlimited income passive income. Here, I went to school to become a social worker, to make earned income, to make a capped income, and I left school with $60,000 in student loan debt. I had to have four years of my time spent to learn how to be a social worker before I could get hired, and I also had to invest $60,000 of my, or get a loan, and come and graduate in debt before they would qualify me to work for a capped income tax at the highest making a, you know, a minimum, you know, a five figure income. Here, $1,500 investment. You're gonna get, you can get your ROI back in 24 hours, in a week if you want, in a month. Even if it took you a month to get your ROI back, you're building a distribution machine that's bringing you cash flow. You get paid every Friday. So now you go and you get paid and then you spend your income, right? You spend your cash flow, guess what? That money is still generating. It's still coming to you. So you don't have to go back and work for more. It's flowing. That's what you want. That's what the wealthy know. But we're so stuck in the employee mindset that we're scared to shift. But don't worry. We have a business school. We have mentorship that pulls that entrepreneur out of you. I wasn't an entrepreneur. So if you are doubting yourself and you're like, oh, it's just too good to be true. Can I do it? Yes, you can, because I was stuck in that employee mindset. Sometimes, after five years of being mentored by the best eight-figure earners that have made millions in multiple industries, I still sometimes sidetrack into the employee mindset. But it's a mindset, and you got to shift. And what hour deserves you? Does the hour that pays you a capped income, tax at the highest, right? learning a skill to have limitations, or is it the hour that's gonna teach you how to make passive income that generates to you. Financial education. Which hour deserves you? That's the question you need to ask. Dexter Yeager um, is a truck driver. I don't know if anyone knows Dexter Yeager. I have his book here. He built one of the biggest network marketing businesses in the, the I don't know if it's in the world or in North America, but it he made billions of dollars in network marketing, billions. A regular average truck driver that didn't finish school, that didn't finish high school, I don't even think, went to work, had a family. Um, yes, you can, Tara, for sure. 
and built a network marketing business and now it generates billions of revenue. He's created multiple millionaires in his organization, helping them build distribution businesses. The biggest, now that organization that he built, when going into network marketing, it led to him buying banks, a truck driver, somebody who, you know, wasn't, you wouldn't think is a millionaire type, came into network marketing, learned how to be an entrepreneur, created cash flow, led him to buying banks, led him to buying 40 businesses, and is a billionaire. And now he's even passed and his system still works. It's a legacy. He left a legacy for his family where it cash flows. That's what you want. That's what network marketing can do for you. In the five years I've been in network marketing, I've created cash flow and it's helped me build two businesses. I don't have 40 yet. I'll get there, but I have two traditional businesses and multiple real estates. It teaches you how to get out of that earned income into the passive income or cash flow. So then you can get into the I quadrant, which is the investing, where your money is working for you. You're employing your money. That's what you want to know. Success because success is because your imagination becomes a verb. So just think, what could you do if, a, if money wasn't an issue? If you could create cash flow, if you had time, where, would, can, where can your imagination take you? What could you do? Where do you want to go? What do you want to buy? Who would you help? Let your imagination go and then use that imagination and take action. Use it as a verb. And that's how you have success. The only people that don't have success are the ones that quit on themselves. You need to get around people who have a vision, who have, are going places, who are going to educate you, give you the highest quality financial education so that you can learn how to make your money work for you. I want to end this off. Um, who's read this? I'm rereading this. It's a book of the month uh, for January, Business of the 21st Century, Robert Kiyosaki. My mentor was mentored under him uh, and learned a lot about financial education and how to turn your earned income into passive income from Robert Kiyosaki. Um, and so he has a, a load of books, a Rich, a rich Dad, Poor Dad um, series. One of them is the Business of the 21st Century. Now, one reason I have such a strong respect for network marketing is that it is genuine, equal opportunity business. Everybody has an equal opportunity to make an income here. Everybody has access to the same compensation plan. All right. Even people can make more money than the top. Over here, you can't make more money than the top. Here, you can make more money than everybody above you. Right. I've had people on my team make more money than me. That's what you want. That's the goal. Let's get everybody to pass you up, okay? That's job security. That's security. That's not only freedom, but security because you're making passive income. That's what you want, okay? Um, the future of genuine wealth lies in pioneering ways of doing business that elevate the financial well-being of humanity. This pyramid helps everybody get wealthy. Who gets wealthy in this pyramid? Only the top. It's very hard to get wealthy in somebody else's pyramid. You gotta build your own, okay? You gotta build your own. Um, one of the principal reasons I have put so much energy into supporting and promoting the network marketing industry is simply this. Its systems are fairer than previous systems of acquiring wealth. A network marketing system is a setup to make it possible for anyone to share in the wealth. And guess what? As I end, your flex isn't your fancy car or your fancy house, or the jewels that you, you put on your body. That's not the flex anymore. Flex is freedom. Flex is freedom. So if your system can pay for your living, say your living costs you $5,000 a month, let's say, okay? Might be less, might be more. And say your system pays for your living, you no longer work for a living. You just got your time back. You just got your freedom. Your system pays for your living. You no longer work for a living. Over here, you're working for a living to pay your bills, and then you gotta repeat it and do it all over again. Over here, you're gonna build a system. You're gonna build it once and get paid forever. That's what passive income looks like, all right? So that your system pays for your living, okay? Your system pays for your luxuries. Your system pays for your investments so that you can have more systems. All right, 
I think I drove this in. Um, please let me know um, what pyramid you're in. What pyramid would you like to be in? And let me know if I can help. I want to hear some dreams, some goals. And I want to help people start having their system work for their living. And I, I want to help you. Um, it's been a game changer for myself and my family. And um, we're excited to where we're going and how many people we're going to take. How many seven-figure earners we're going to create. Six figures, five figures. It's an exciting year. 2022 is a year of taking ownership. All right, guys. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.